As every tale in our adventure unlocks, we will explore block by block. So that was Nitya Kalyana Perumal Temple. So if you are someone who is planning to get married or there is a delay in marriage, then this temple in Thirivudandai is the right one for you. There is a belief that when someone who has a delay in marriage comes here and worships the God, the marriage would be very soon arranged. So there is a story, interesting story. There was a lady named as Kuni. She wanted to do tapasya. But she was very young. So Narada Maharishi, he came and he said her that you are very small age. Only a married girl can do tapasya. Not a small age, I mean unmarried woman. These trees are very beautiful, right? I can see this everywhere throughout the road from ECR. So after hearing this, Kuni, what she did, she came to an ashram of a saint. So he, uh, she approached uh, him. The saint name uh, was Kalava. So Kalava Rishi. And they both got married and they got 360 daughters. So the and then what happened? She went to perform her tapasya and uh, she went to heaven, leaving behind 360 daughters. So this Kalava Rishi, he got uh, frightened because of 360 daughters, he was not sure how to get them married. So what he did, he approached uh, Lord uh, Perumal, okay, who is uh, here as Varaha Perumal, Adi Varaha Perumal. And what he did was, the Perumal came as a ride every day he came as one beautiful men man and he married one daughter each day so every day he married one daughter for 360 days that is why uh, this temple is called as nitya kalyana perumal nitya means it's a sanskrit word means daily and uh, after marriage both of them went inside the temple and they they got uh, vanished. The father <coughs> of the girl, right, the Rishi, he was surprised and he didn't know what is happening. So we, when he went inside the temple, the Lord Varaha, he came and he gave, uh, uh, what to say, he appeared as uh, Lord Vara, Varaha Pirmal along with him he also brought uh, Lakshmi and he made her sit in one of left side of his lap that is why Thiru Ida actually it was called as Thiru Ida Vindai Ida means left so if you see the Lakshmi will be sitting on the left side of the uh, Varaha Parmal but in the Mahabali Burma, right where we are going now there is one more temple where the Lakshmi will be sitting in Valam. So it is Thiru Vala Vindai. There is one more temple here which will have uh, Lakshmi in the right side, which is an interesting fact. Okay, coming back to the story, one more interesting uh, incident which is referred to this temple is 
Bali. Bali was a very powerful king. So once Bali was approached by Asuras to fight against Devas. But Bali said that without reason I cannot fight. You can see the beautiful easy area. By the way, this road leads to Mahabalipuram and then towards Pondicherry. So, what Bali did was, he said that he cannot fight for Asuras without any proper reason. But Asuras said that we need to defeat Deva, so please fight with us. And he then fought and they won the war against Devas. But it was against his... Uh, his uh, what is it? it was against his will or it was against the law. So he came to this temple and he did uh, tapasya and he got uh, relief from the sin. So that is one more thing. And thirdly, Lord Vishnu is in this temple as Varaha Perumal. Varaha means which is one of the avatar of uh, Lord Vishnu as per the Indian mythology. So Varaha, why did Varaha came? There was a Asura called Hiranyakash. He was actually in the heaven with Vishnu, but he wanted, uh, due to some curse, he came to the earth and he took uh, avatar of Hiranyakash and uh, he took the earth. He took the earth and he kept it in the ocean. Under the ocean, he hid the earth in the ocean. So everyone approached uh, Vishnu to recover the earth from the ocean to the space. That is where uh, Vishnu took the form of avatar, avatar of uh, Varaha. The reason he took uh, Varaha was the um, Hiranyagash has had asked uh, when he was doing tapasya, right? He asked that uh, a human being, animal like that. Um, he asked for a certain species that he should not be defeated by them. Same like how uh, uh, Ravanan asked, right? Ravanan asked that uh, he should not be defeated by animal, asuras, devas, all things he asked, but he forgot to ask that uh, he should not be defeated by Rama, uh, I mean human being. So same way, uh, Varaha was the best uh, form for uh, Lord Vishnu to defeat uh, Hiranyakash. So that was another uh, interesting incident. So the, the procedure in the temple is I had explained earlier. The, the cost uh, for entrance is 55 rupees if you want to perform the marriage ritual. Like if there is a delay you have to buy two garland and uh, Archana is your own preference. You can either go for it or you can ignore that. So you have to pay 50 plus 5, 55 rupees and once you enter, they would just, it will take one or two minutes only. They will keep your garland and they will do puja and they will give you back. So you have to wear that and uh, walk across nine times and then you have to go back to home, keep the garland safely. So after uh, your marriage is uh, done, you have to come as a pair and bring bring the old uh, garland and put it in the tree there is a tree behind the temple and then you have to go back and many also come here for uh, uh, getting a child but uh, more than this uh, i mean i don't i don't know about uh, the popularity of this temple but for uh, getting a child uh, garbarakshambike temple is more uh, popular than this temple i will be covering that uh, in a separate video on that so while on the way to, we are on the way to Pondicherry, so it would be Mahabliburam, then Kalpakam, Kadapakam and then Pondicherry. So on the way we have to also have our uh, breakfast. So if you are planning to come to this temple, you can come through flight, bus or train. Just if you have some question, you can just post and I would be happy to answer that.